just like that, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, my toxic gamers? How I see the chats are doing today. So everybody's shaking right now. Everybody's excited and talking about the upcoming Black Ops game. We don't have one Call of Duty game leaking up, but we have two Call of Duty games leaking right. up, ladies and gentlemen. The year is 2023. Maybe you're watching this video in 2024, but guess what, my brothers? It got leaked out, okay? Everybody's talking about it. Like and subscribe if you're brand new and check this out, man. Can a brother get 25 likes? Because breaking. Call of Duty 2025 is a semi-futuristic Black Ops 2 sequel set around the year 2030, according to Insider Gaming. Yeah, and Insider Gaming is the homie uh, Tom Henderson. You know, he leaked the Lucia Burda initially. He also did leak the fact that we're going to be having a one female, one male protagonist for GTA 6. He leaked the Battlefield 2042 leaks all the way back, and I'm saying. And he was also the guy behind, like, the original Modern Warfare 19, Modern Warfare 2022. And you guys remember, right, like, all these BBC bundles that we had. Yeah, exactly my point. Yeah, so the guy leaked a lot of stuff. Needless to say, the guy is very reliable. He's old and reliable. I know a lot of the Battlefield community was up in arms when he was leaking Battlefield 2042, and they were not believing his leaks, but his leaks came true. And he's once again in, uh, once again added, and there's a video I'm gonna show you as well. It will reportedly feature a conjunction of remastered Black Ops 2 maps and new maps on launch after backlash over Modern Garbage 3, Modern Warfare 3, only having remastered maps. Wow, yay. So that's kind of like the news right now. Then on the other hand, we're hearing that Call of Duty 2025 will reportedly be set in the Black Ops universe in the near future. 2030, it will also have the Pick 10 system create a class of which which was absolutely phenomenal in the original black ops 2 game one in the comments like the video if you ever played black ops 2 that game was amazing it's also gonna be having round based zombie map and updates to the movement and things are shaking right now everybody's like look at that bro uh, bro said he just nutted like bro yeah. then homies dropping w's w w w and another guy says that crafty very smart Canadian maple syrup guy. I'm in Canada as well. Uh, shout out to my Canadian homies out there. Like and subscribe. Uh, you know, I'm seen. So, more recycled maps, regardless, is getting pathetic at this point. Modern Warfare XX or Black Ops XX. How about something original? Let's be real, man. Call of Duty devs and originality just doesn't go hand in hand, okay? This is original, okay? Take a look at this, okay? Original. This is Call of Duty. Original Call of Duty. Oops, I missed it. Oops, I missed it. Bruh. You know, you just cannot mix originality with call of duty ladies and gentlemen but guys you're not ready for this one check this we have some insane news regarding the future of the call of duty franchise because we're going to be in a sequel to black ops 2 that is right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. This information is coming in from Tom Henderson, who, of course, is one of the pretty much one of the premier industry insiders and leakers yeah. within the Call of Duty scene. He posted Tom Henderson be like this right now. Hey, yo, man. So y'all want some leaks right now? Y'all want some leaks? Listen, man, this is sounding absolutely insane that we're going to have Black Ops 2 remaster maps. But guys, sit down if you're not. Kiss your loved ones goodbye. I don't want you guys falling over, okay? Because we have that kind of news right now. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah! Shit. You thought there's not gonna be any butt in the situation? We got a massive butt. I'm not talking about the Lucia Bruna guys. I'm talking about butt. You know what? Like, then, so, but, but this happened. Based on the latest, latest rumors, the Call of Duty schedule look like this. Call of Duty 2024, new Treyarch game. Black Ops title set in Gulf War, which is gonna be a new game. It's gonna be developed by... 20 uh treyarch in tw for 2024 but call of duty 2025 however sequel to black ops 2 set in 2030 will have new plus remastered black ops 2 maps and listen i'm a massive fan of black ops 2 i want to see a dedicated black ops 2 remaster and i feel like that this is the closest we're gonna get to it but this is where that but situation comes in the homie kid was like okay man let me ask this important question let me take it on my chin i gotta ask this okay so who is developing 2025 and charlie until says that unable to confirm that so far so guys what do we learn here Treyarch making 2024 but 2025 we don't know because let's be real man what if it's like infinity target what if it's like the infinity war devs I i'm just saying guys i'm just saying if it's like infinity war devs bro i don't want it bruh those suckers are gonna be putting those bbc bundles in that bro like in urdu i'm like just saying okay 
post a bunch of stuff over to his website, Insider Gaming. And in there, we find the article exclusive Call of Duty 2025 is a semi futuristic Black Ops 2 sequel. Uh -huh. Holy uh -huh. hell. So, what we know right now is right now, Modern Warfare 3 is out. Next year, we're going to have Black uh, Wrong. Modern Garbage 3. I know there are some people actually liking the game. Bruh. So. Let me show you some geeshish. I'm not talking about you guys, uh, but, but the game is bad, guys. Like, come on, man. Like, like, yeah, man, 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 man. It's better than Infinity Tards. It's better than whatever garbage Infinity Ward is producing right now, whatever garbage they produce with Modern Warfare 2022. It is better than that. And those things are the reason, main reason why we have skill-based management. And so, get on, bro. Get on. Golf War in 2024. And then in 2025, it was always said that that game was going to be basically just a sequel to Black Ops Golf War. It was said that that game was going to have all the original Black Ops 2 maps in it, but they were going to be remastered. But apparently some of that has been changing, according to Tom and his sources. So I'll oh. just go ahead and check this out right here. Yeah, I, I guess shout out to the fans for not buying Modern yeah, Garbage 3. The, in, because initially, guys, this is going to sound absolutely insane. Originally, we did hear that Call of Duty 2025 is just going to be Black Ops 2 remaster maps, but with BBC bundles. That's what we heard, okay? That's what we heard. And you, similar to how Modern Warfare 3 is in the year 2023. I'm not talking about the original. I'm talking about the newly updated new game, right? But still old content. I mean, Suggas wanna see Black Ops 2 remaster. Suggas wanna see Modern Warfare 3 remaster. Modern Warfare 2 remaster maps. But it becomes like... It's like bread, right? Like when you charge people $70, call it brand new, but it turns out to be re recycled garbage with bundles, right? That's the thing we don't like. We love the old maps. We want to see old remaster content too. Alongside a new game, you can have remaster maps as a bonus. And so I got to give a massive shout out to all of you guys watching right now because you guys are the reason. All of the community indeed is the reason and mostly the people that didn't buy Modern Warfare 3 because Activision is now thinking about just thinking okay we do not know guys they might not do it but these suckers are thinking that they're gonna be finally having some new maps alongside remaster maps in a new game in 2025. Wow, right? Like, that's that's kind of beautiful, Whoa! though. In the article, it says that Insider Gaming understands that Call of Duty 2025 is currently in development as a direct sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops 2, being set around 2030. Black Ops 2, of Damn. course, being set in like 2025. That, I like that, I like that. As such, fans should expect the return of some fan-favorite protagonists as the team faces a new villain following the death of Menendez. Mm. Previously, the intention was to have all the Black Ops 2 remaster maps released on launch, similar to how the Modern Warfare yeah. 2 2009 maps came back in Modern Warfare 3. However, yeah, the these things were like, yo, we're just gonna do the same thing again, and we're gonna just add the BBC bundles in it, and we're gonna call it brand new. But they figured out very quick when the community spoke with their wallet, didn't buy the game, and actually went in um, and asked for better, right? Like, let's be real. They want to label you and me as toxic gamers, but damn, bro, like, can a brother just get, like, some original content, though? I want to get Black Ops 2 Remastered, don't get me wrong, okay? But I want a Black Ops 2 Remastered. When you drop a remaster, drop a remaster. When you drop a new game, drop a new game. I mean, yeah, you can have some remaster maps, but the thing is that they were their original plan with this game was, hey, we're gonna make it Black Ops 2 remaster with remaster multiplayer maps. We're gonna call it some different. We're gonna call it brand new. Charge people shitty dollars uh, and add BBC bundles. That's literally what it is. Okay, all if they were to make the original Black Ops 2 remaster like a real real one. Obviously, like dad, they're gonna call it Black Ops 3 Master, and yeah, they're gonna charge it a little bit less, maybe 40 or 50 bucks, and they're not gonna have BBC bundles. But now they're gonna, it's all about the bundles, guys. They're gonna now add like two, three new maps, and that's it. They're gonna be like, that's way too much content for our, our fans, right? Current plan Hopefully is not. to launch not. with new maps and remastered maps in conjunction. Although only one source would comment on the change, it was speculated that the change was likely in response to widespread fan yeah. criticism that painted Modern Warfare 3 as a glorified DLC to its 2022 predecessor. Honestly, it's an insult calling that thing a DLC after that God of War free DLC though. It's like a patch, bro. Like whoever said it's a patch, 
I agree with you. It is a patch. And shout out to the people that actually complain and uh, rightfully so. I wouldn't even call complaints uh, like rightfully, justifyingly so. Because money does not grow on trees. I would like to believe that you guys are working hard for your money, man. I work hard for my money. This is why I did not buy Modern Warfare 3. Oh, shit. If you didn't know, now you know. I didn't buy it. This is the first Call of Duty game I ever skipped. And I'm a massive fan of Call of Duty, dog. Like, and this is the first year I didn't buy and I don't even feel bad. Uh, I don't even miss out. I don't even feel have the feeling of missing out. And this time it's going to be Treyarch, so I truly do hope that it's better. Speaking on other details on Call of Duty 2025, which are heavily in flux due to the game's early stage of development, keep in mind the game right now is 22 months away, Bruh. it's understood that the game is also slated Bruh. to have an overhaul to its movement system, the return of the classic Pick 10 Creative class, the gunfight game mode, and oh, another huh? year of round-based zombies. It's currently on- I mean, thank God, man. These suckers, I mean, give it up for these suckers. Finally, they're thinking about the round-based zombie maps. Finally, they're thinking about it. But the real question here is this, right? Are they gonna be able to give us like that pausing feature in the game? Because knowing, knowing Activision, it's like very, very hard. And knowing like Call of Duty devs in 2023 with them like blue hair. They damn strong independent. We just love drinking Bud Light on a daily basis. And we don't like making new maps. We love recycling old maps. And you know, spanking over female employees. Knowing the, the type of devs that actually work at Activision right now. I mean, not everybody's like that. A lot of good people exist. And a lot of good devs are there. But it's like they don't have the say, right? Some of them do, but most of them just don't even have the say. And some just don't even care but as an outsider looking in it just feels like this this that y'all suckers only care for friendly you in your mind that's it, it, bruh like i know i overdo it sometimes it's both hilarious but also sad at the same time because call of duty just became bundles warfare bundle ops 2 i don't want to see no bundle ops 2 like and subscribe if you agree i want to see good content and thank god they're gonna be they're they're thinking about round base thank god it's in the leaks what about call of duty 2024 are we gonna get round base maps huh Unclear if the carry forward from COD 2024, named Black Ops Gulf War, will be incorporated due to the significant time jump and change to the game's overall strategy. So, yeah, that would be kind of weird, right? Black Ops Gulf War is set to be in the 1990s, obviously. I mean, Gulf War. But then you have a game that's going to be set in 2030. I mean, we're talking about like a 40-year jump right there. I mean, yeah. they might be able to pull that <laughs> off. They really could. But it just it's so hard to say. I mean, they can, bro. Like, look at Infinite Warfare. Look at Black Ops 3 with that 2065 jump. They love jumping, man. They definitely do be loving uh, those jumps, man. They love climbing. They love those bundles. They they love it, brothers. They love it. But I will say this, though. Uh, Treyarch near futuristic games are usually very good i like i'm a massive fan of black ops 3 uh zombies uh multiplayer was odd but the but uh, the supply drops and microtransactions were like the biggest negative but outside of that it was actually a very good game black ops 2 amazing game in my opinion Say what exactly is going to be happening because the game is 22 months away but i did want to make this video here today and show Damn. off some old footage from this has to be like 2013 this gameplay here on grind i mean i had my old watermark on it for crying out loud i just happened yeah. to find this footage like buried away narrow cinema in my pc somewhere you know black ops 2 is a fantastic game i think a lot of us really Agreed. enjoyed it and the fact that there's going to be a sequel to it and basically two straight Treyarch games for a lot of fans that definitely does sound good the return it of pick 10 will also be great but but the thing you gotta factor in I, I don't think he knows and this is something you know shout out to kate once again like i said he's the guy that asked the tough question he's the guy that's like <laughs> i gotta ask and uh they say that we are unable to confirm that so far if it turns out to be infinity tart bruh i don't want no more black ops 2 remaster bro don't let those sons of female dogs make that dog it was said actually it, that bro. pick 10 was going to be coming back for modern warfare 3 this year but infinity ward basically said no because for some reason infinity ward had some say as to what sledgehammer could do yeah. with their game it makes no sense really whatsoever but we have heard that in the past so it will be nice that pick 10 is going to be coming back they're going to be revamping movement i'm a bit concerned about that as well because we are, are they talking bro. about like keeping the modern warfare 3 movement where we have slide cancel and stuff like that or are they possibly thinking well if the game's gonna be set in 2030 and it's a sequel to black ops 2 you know the previously the only sequel we had was black ops 3 which of course had advanced yeah. movement and specialists i don't think specialists are going to return necessarily but maybe some form of advanced movement might I, be i mean listen if you're gonna make a black ops 2 remaster then don't do it dog like okay make a new game 
and keep new content and yeah you can maybe like here and there have re can have remaster maps but like dog like when you're making a remaster maps can a brother uh, can a brown man perhaps just see like a proper black ops 2 remaster this is a game that we wanted for years that damn it and you know for the longest amount of time you know this was this used to be memes this used to be speculation that we're gonna get black ops 2 remaster in 2025 and now that it's gonna be officially happening obviously it's not gonna be like a proper black ops 2 remaster it's gonna be black ops 2 with some new maps which is fine not totally cool with that okay remaster all the maps and have new maps in it and you know 2025 ish fi the game okay fine all right you're gonna make it better better graphics all that yeah love that okay but we know that those things only care about the bbc bundles they're just gonna be bundling fi this is gonna be bundle offs man i'm just afraid of that okay otherwise like bro like this is looking very good be part of the game or maybe they're just talking about making the game continue to feel fast and fluid and kind of improving upon the stuff that we see with modern warfare 3 right oh, now bro, i mean it's news. all up in the air as of right now but this literally just came out like 20 minutes ago. yeah 20 minutes ago and guys we also have had some brand new leaks about GTA 6 okay GTA 6 is coming out in 2025 this game coming out in 2025 I think it's gonna be a massive year click on this video on the screen and I will see you right